Hi, welcome back to Colt Gear RC. So today we're going to have a look at this. This is the Gep RC Mark IV frame. As you can see, I've got the bits here. We're going to do a build on this, and it's going to be a series of three videos. So the first one today, I'm going to show you all the bits, mainly the frame, and then the second part, I'm going to do a build video, kind of. I'm going to show you bit by bit of the build. It. It's going to take. I'm not time lapsing it because it's a bit forever. I'm not the quickest builder in the world. And then the third one, obviously, we're going to flight test it. So this is the frame. I absolutely love this frame. So this is the frame when it's made up. It comes with a set of instructions. It's very, very, very easy to make up. The fit and finish is so... Look at the finish on the carbon. It's dead smooth. It's got chamfered off edges all over. It's got countersunk coils for your bolts at the top and bottom. I like these button screws. These are your screws for your stack, which you get... The great thing about this, it will hold two 20 by 20s or two 30 by 30 stacks. It's obviously a freestyle frame because we've got the arms back and it comes with a camera mount, a nice camera mount in the front. So in the kit you get that and you get, you get a silicon mat with it but you also get a spare which is great to see, a set of instructions which are really good. Two GEP RC battery straps, a set of spare bolts and the bolt for the stack and some more standoffs. You get the strap for the GoPro, which is excellent, and you get a set of, oops, a set of rubber foams to put underneath, which we're not using, I'll show you why in a minute. So that's what you get in the box, that's what comes with the frame. So I've decided to build this with iFlight Zing motors, and I've, these are the 1700 2208s. So these are the motors we'll be using on this build. I really like the 22, I've got 2207s, 18s, on the Nazgul and I really like them. Obviously these things come with silicon wires and they're not that expensive. So everything on the desk here you're going to see came from a Mantec in the UK and it was actually £3 cheaper than if I'd have bought it from a Chinese site. I'm not naming a Chinese site but it was obviously cheaper. So these I've got very very lightweight. You can see the shaft are hollow but you can, look at, oh, please focus so you can see how good they are. Look at the windings inside that. A really nice motor. For the price these are, I think these come in about £12.50 each. So they are a cheap motor. This isn't an expensive build at all. But really nice. So we're going to use those. We've got four of those. We have the Mamba 405 stack. So this is the member F405, this one's got 45 amp ESCs because we're going to, this one's going to be on 6S, as you can see. I really do like the member boards, I think they're really nicely, the nice bit of kit. So this is 40 amp ESCs on this one, 40 amp, we're going to fly this on 6S. But as you can see, really nice board. I love the fact these cables, some of these cables and they're three times longer than they need to be. So this is a good board, so we're going to put, we're going to use this board here. And you obviously get your cable, your XT60, we won't be using them, we're going to put the new type XT60 on. You get your capacitor, a set of gel mounts, and you get a longer cable should you want to mount this and put them side by side on the frame. I'm not going to do this, so the idea will this will be going in the frame like this. And then the right way around would help, but we're going to put it in the frame like this. We're going to put the FPV receiver, the VTX down here, should I say, and we're going to have, I'm putting a run cam mini in here, so that will go up on there. And then obviously the camera in the front. So, speaking of which, we've got the run cam mini. You've seen these before, these have been our ages, but they're quite cheap to buy now, so we're going to fit one of these. Uh, this is a 20mm, so this will probably just be mounted directly to the board. Oh, I have got one of them adapter plates that this will fit into. And we're just going to put this so I can get this. So I've got plenty of room to get to the buttons and to the camera. Yeah, really, I really do like these. They're not right. The FPV image isn't the sharpest in the world, not the best, because you're losing the resolution into the camera. That's why the Tazi Air is probably a better camera now. I say that, I'm not sure. I still prefer, I still love the image quality from this one when I'm recording onto it. What else have we got? We have got some other bits and bats. So we have the VTX we're going to use is the FPV Chaos. So if you know where on Mantec are in the UK, they sell some of their own stuff. I've had a few of these now. I think this is the third one of these I've had, or the third one I'll use. 
and these are great budget VTX comes obviously with the cable in there the cable does come with a if you don't sold onto the board it does come with a, a, a cable that actually goes onto it so this is 25 to 800 milliwatt obviously make sure what country you're in you abide by your rules but I've had a few of these like I said I've never had any issues with it it comes you can buy it with I think you can buy this direct with the antenna on it or you can buy the one like I've got with a pigtail that comes off so we're gonna that's what we're gonna use on there we're gonna use an XM plus now this isn't an XM plus so this is another one of their products I think this is the third one of these that I used as well and I've had absolutely no issue with them so these are their version of an XM plus if you like from Unman Tech and I have absolutely no problems with these whatsoever I think they're a fantastic thing comes with a cable as you would expect but it also comes with the other cable if you want to wire it the other way and as I say never had an issue with range or any break up on one of these things at all I think they're fantastic value for money these come in at about, I think they're about nine quid or nine pound fifty. Come on, focus. He's struggling today, isn't it? I think they come in about nine pound fifty. And then we have a menace stub. And I really like these things. They're hardy, they take a bit of a kick in. They're not that expensive, they're about like twelve or thirteen quid. I've got a few of these now. Really like them. And we're gonna fly it on something on a roof. So these are the Dell Prop Cyclone 5145s. I fly the Nazgo on the 5140s, I've never used these before, so we're going to see how good they are. I obviously bought the red one because the theme and the quad's a bit red as you're going to tell. These are the props. Oh, all Dow Pop stuff look nice, I think the quality seems nice on them, but we'll know better when we fly it obviously. So they're the props. And that's about it. And the other thing I've done, I've 3D printed a lot of stuff for it. So I don't like these feet that go on the bottom, but I do like some kind of protection because obviously it's the top mounted battery. So we've got these. Now I don't fit these the way they're meant to be fitted. I don't fit them through the screws. What I'll do is I'll drill them holes out and I'll just, these, I just put a little blob of hot cock glue on these and if they fall off I can just put them back on again. I 3D printed these myself. Uh, as I did with it, that's not the right one actually. That's the first one of these I printed so with the antenna mount and also we have somewhere the GoPro mount. I'm still going to put you put the GoPro mount on because at times I'll want to film in 4K. And this is again another thing you print off Thingiverse for it. There's a load of stuff you can get for the Mark IV. Really nice piece of kit. So yeah, I'm looking forward to building this. I think it's going to look a nice piece of kit. I love the frame. I know the motors are good. I've had a Mamba stack before and I've used everything on the table I've actually used before so I can't see apart from the props and if I need to do we'll also test these probably on the 5140s as well to see what the difference is because I have two or three sets of the 5140s so this frame comes in 5 inch, 6 inch and 7 inch like I say I bought this from Unman Tech I think it was about 43 quid this video is not promoted from Unman Tech they sent me nothing to I bought everything that's on the desk they don't even know I do YouTube videos, but I like them because they're quick. If you ring them up and you need some assistance, they're there for you. So I think they're a great company, and I think this is going to be a nice thing. Like I say, we're going to have the 1080p 60 frames second run cam in the front of this. It fits nicely, as you can see. And yeah, it's going to be a nice piece of kit. The frame's quite light actually. Um, there's not a lot of weight to the frame but we'll give the full weight when we built it because obviously we're going to have a success battery on here and I'll do the weight both ways I'll do the weight with just the battery and I'll do the weight when I've attached the GoPro to the top of it because this doesn't make that much difference a couple of grams remember this is a freestyle so it's not a racer so it doesn't have to be a light but all in all I love, I love the frame I know these motors are great I love the run cam I was going to build one with the Tarsier but um, I'm not going to do that now. I am going to do another build uh, on the Flywheel Mr. Croc if you've seen that uh, and I'm going to probably build that in a, in a month or so and we'll see what the difference is. I'm probably going to use very similar components. I might change the motors. I might actually buy their motors because they're only a couple of quid more if you've seen their gold motors. I won't be putting their flight controller and their gold DSC in because it's just a bit expensive. I'll probably use one of these again because I have no issues with these. They're easy to wire up. 
they pin out really good. The instructions you get when you download them are fantastic. So, yeah, I love the Mamba Stacks. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. I'll have the build video up in a few days for you. Um, and we'll see how we get on with that. And then if the weather ever does improve in the UK, we might be able to fly it. Have a fantastic day. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.